Hi Aries and welcome to your weekly love tarot readings. We are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you concerning uh, your romantic life. Um, these messages will relate to love and romance. They are general though, so please be mindful of that throughout the reading. If you are interested in a personalized tarot spread, please feel free to inquire with me. I am going to list my email address just below the video here in the show more section, along with all the information you will need. Um, so with all of that being said, let's go take a look at the messages that are coming in for you here, Aries. So this reading is intended for Aries, so um, Ascending, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. the two of cups the chariot here the hierophant the nine of swords the eight of wands but it's in reverse and the emperor here what's on your mind here Aries because I feel like something here is causing you a little bit of grief here is it your energy or the energies of your romantic interest I feel like there is someone around you here who you feel a very strong connection with or whom you feel a very strong uh, romantic attraction towards this person but I feel like maybe things aren't necessarily going as uh, as you want them as you uh, you know as you intend them to go or as you're hoping that they would go here with the two of cups this is water energy it is Pisces Cancer or Scorpio this does denote like a soulmate connection or even a twin flame connection this is a soul partner this is someone whom you feel as though you share a very strong emotional bond with you feel like this person is very similar in many ways like they have very similar interests or they want uh, the same things that you do here there's a lot of it's a very similar energy here only because they do seem to be mirroring each other here in in within uh, the image of this card so you feel as though this person may be your other half your equal you feel as though this is someone you could potentially uh, you, you know you see yourself spending the rest of your life with this individual now with the chariot I feel like you're wanting you're wanting to move a connection forward you're wanting commitment here with the Hierophant. You're wanting to progress things. You're wanting to perhaps elevate things to the next level, take things to the next stage. I feel like you want to deepen this bond. For some reason, though, I feel like things aren't necessarily unfolding here as you want them to. For some reason, there is either stagnation here, where you want there to be movement. There is some sort of blockages here. You could be experiencing some um, emotional challenges with this person and uh, you know concerning this connection but all relationships marriages or partnerships have a natural ebb and flow to them so you know you're never going to be uh, like stress-free 99.9% .9 of the time so it's how you get over those hurdles it's how you conquer those obstacles and how you get over those hurdles that really uh, matters um, and I feel like whatever it is uh, that you're, you know, whatever it is that's threatening your peace of mind here or that's keeping you up at night or whatever it is that you're sort of um, stressing and worrying about, this to me I feel like is, uh, it's kind of like a blessing in, in disguise and I'll tell you why because I feel like if the two of you can endure this, if the two of you can get over this obstacle and if you can work through whatever this is, for a lot of you I do feel like it's, it's because maybe you're wanting for this person to commit. Maybe you're wanting this person to, you know, to become a little bit more intimate and open with you. You're wanting them to communicate their feelings. Maybe you, you're wanting for this person, yeah, to to show you that they are ready to take this connection in, you know, to the next level or move it forward into a positive direction. But you're not getting it from them. Um, or perhaps you feel as though maybe the energies are reversed here and you feel as though maybe this person wants you to move things forward but you're not ready to move forward maybe there's something here that that is holding you back you do, it's it's not so much this person it, it's something to do with like maybe it's like a, an insecurity or a fear of yours that may be a hindrance to this connection um 
So again, yeah, if the energy take um, the energies can be reversed, so take it as it applies to you. And the same goes with this person. It's not so much that they don't want this. It's not so much that because I feel like they they feel what you feel. Okay, they're on the same wavelength here as you. They have the same feelings. They're experiencing the same emotions here. So they're feeling everything that you're feeling here. But there is something here that I feel like is causing them, it's causing a blockage. There is something here that I feel like is is sort of preventing them from stepping up and from moving forward here. So the Nine of Swords is a very bothersome energy. It's uh, It does have this nervous energy here. Okay, so I can see there is something here that's troubling you. So what's on your mind? Something here is troubling you. Something here is keeping you awake. Maybe you're scared that you're going to lose this person. Maybe you're scared that the connection here is going to fail. Um, maybe there is... You're expecting communication from this individual. Okay, and with the higher friend, because he's a man of nobility and humility and... Um, he represents, you know, all this kindness and good virtues. Maybe you're, you're wanting, maybe this person has wronged you here. Maybe they've said something or done something to have caused you pain or to upset you. And maybe you're wanting this person to apologize, but they haven't done that. They're not coming forward with that yet. So maybe that's what's keeping you up at night. Maybe that's what you're stressing over. Because with the Nine of Wands in reverse, I am seeing that something here is not happening the way that you want it to happen. There is a lack of movement. There is a lack of progression. Something here is not moving forward is what I'm seeing. You are in alignment, given the Nine of Swords he lined up on like that and the um, Eight of Wands lined up like that. I feel like you are both in alignment with one another, but I feel like someone he has, someone he has insecurities or fears that are uh, acting as a that that are acting as a blockage when it comes to this connection. Now with the the Emperor here in reverse. Um, I feel like maybe you need to, your best bet is to communicate what's on your mind here, you communicate what's keeping you up here, you communicate, you know, what you're worrying about. Maybe this person isn't aware that, you know, you, you're worried so much or isn't aware that, you know, you're, you're putting so much pressure on this or so much is riding on this. Maybe this person is, you know, oblivious to all of this. So if there are any strains in the relationship or if there are any emotional challenges here or if there's something here you want to get off your mind or get off your chest, I feel like it's best that you communicate here, okay? Because I feel like with the Emperor in reverse, I am seeing that the person is not, they're, they're willing to compromise because the Emperor upright is someone who's a very stubborn energy, someone he's very rigid, right? Um, he can be someone who's very stuck in his ways here and not willing to budge. But the fact that it's come out in reverse like that, I do feel like, you know, this person is um, open to hearing you out. And I feel like this is someone who is in the future who would be willing to compromise and willing to listen and probably willing to meet you halfway. Because I do feel like, I do feel like this person is emotionally invested. And especially with the Two of Cups, I do feel like maybe this person also feels as though they found their other half in you. They found their soul partner, their, um, their twin flame here. I feel like for some of you here, you are expecting an apology here. You aren't expecting an, an apology here from your romantic interests because you're wanting something he might have been said or done that obviously you know has inflicted some pain on you whether emotional or mental and you're wanting for this person to explain him or herself or you're wanting the, uh, for this person to apologize here so with the emperor in reverse there is this maybe it's not happening just yet and with the eight of wands in reverse but i do feel like that it, it is on the cards here this person is someone who's going to let their guard down okay this person is someone who's willing they're not rigid they're not rigid here i feel like you know that they're, they're they're bendy i feel like you know this person is willing to compromise and meet you halfway or at the very least at least a quarter of the way here okay aries that is your reading so thank you for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel by liking commenting or sharing um, i am going to be uploading more tarot love readings throughout the week so stay tuned um, and i will catch up with you then bye for now